Now a live look at Singapore. This is the story everyone will be watching both today and tomorrow. President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong Un are in their hotels just blocks apart before they meet one on one for their historic summit tomorrow. Both leaders will likely spend the day preparing. I'll be bringing you everything we know about the upcoming summit later on Sunrise. Chris? In your news headlines, President Trump left for Singapore after an explosive end to the G7 summit. First, he signed a joint agreement on trade with all of the other leaders, but then he took it back after Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau criticized U.S. trade policies. President Trump called Trudeau weak. And then there's this from Trump's trade advisor. There's a uh, special place in hell for any foreign leader that engages in bad faith diplomacy with President Donald J. Trump and then tries to stab him in the back on the way out the door. Now U.S. allies are threatening to target U.S. exports like cheese, bourbon and pork. Look at this new video from Hawaii's Big Island where Mount Kilauea has been erupting for more than five weeks now. The lava is changing the face of the island it helped create and has destroyed more than 600 homes and businesses. A Minnesota group has launched a massive relief effort in Guatemala after an eruption there. The God's Child Project has a shelter just miles from the base of the volcano. They need volunteers and donations. If you want to help, go to care11.com. A Minnesota locksmith is expected to stand trial today. Todd Shiver is accused of threatening and assaulting his customers. After a CARE 11 investigation last year, a warrant was issued for Shiver's arrest in Ramsey County. He faces two counts of fifth degree assault. Thanks, Chris. It'll be a testy morning for commuters in Minneapolis. A major closure on I-35W cuts off some of the access to downtown. So if that is your route. Plan to leave early this week until you find your detour. Ellery McArdle is live along the highway before you hit the road. Ellery, how are things going out there today? Yeah, well, it's quieted down here a little bit. I think the trucks moved down 35 just a little bit, so it's a little bit quieter out here, but still a mess out here. They're still working out here. Uh, and these ramp closures into downtown started on Friday, so this morning is the big real test for drivers, and these are changes that they're going to have to get used to until the fall. Yeah, it's a mess out there, literally. MnDOT's got I-35W torn up. It's replacing this bridge, which connects I-35W to downtown Minneapolis, and that is setting off a ripple effect of ramp closures. No more access to downtown from I-35W north to 11th Street, 5th Avenue, and Grant Street until the fall. The official detour takes you onto 3rd Street. These changes mean more traffic in downtown through the fall, so commuters buckle up, find that new route, because it's messy out there. All right, so we have a long term closure that we have to talk about. The ramp from I-94 East to I-35W South closed for, get this, the next three years. <laughs> and then we have an update on another one. Over the weekend, MnDOT was supposed to close I-35W North between Highway 62 and I-94. Well, they moved that because of rain over the weekend. They moved that to tonight between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. to tomorrow. So that one really won't have a big impact on the commute, but just something to keep in mind if you're in that area uh, overnight, guys. Drivers to remember, thank you, Ellery. And be sure to stay with us on air and online for all of the latest traffic updates on our mobile app on care11.com. And tell us what your commute looks like on our Care 11 Facebook page. Alicia. And the Tony Award goes to the band's visit. And that was the big winner last night at the Tony Awards. The band's visit, everyone's talking about it. The Tony Awards, of course, are the highest honors in Broadway. The band's visit's about an Egyptian orchestra that gets stranded for a night in Israel. The show won 10 awards, including Best Musical. And another big moment, students from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, they performed the song Seasons of Love from Rent. Listen to this. Really good uh, performance from those kids. A lot of people talking about that. Uh, MSNBC's Joy Reid said the Portland kids performing at the Tony Awards is the I'm not crying, you're crying moment of the night. And uh, speaking of that school, their drama teacher 
also won their, uh, Melody Hersfield's her name. She won the Excellent in Theater Education Award. She actually helped save 65 students during the tragic February school shooting. And finally, a little lighter moment from last night's show. Take a look at this. Yes, that is a goat on the red carpet, folks. And uh, that goat's named Sparky. He was pretty stylish. He had a bow tie and everything. It wasn't a random stunt, Chris. No, there's Sparky, a reason. There's a reason behind Sparky the Goat. He's okay. a cast member in one of the big shows. Well, so. lucky he made the awards show. You yeah. really have to watch your train if you're a you know, woman <laughs> yeah. with a gown. That goat just kind of munching it up behind you oh, there. Sport. Yeah, you're going to have to have a shorter dress then. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm glad Sparky got to see the show. Let's head to Sven now for the one thing we need to know on traffic and weather. Yeah, we're watching some downpours developing off to the west this morning, moving very slowly. No severe weather, but because these Thunder showers are moving so slow to pick up quite a bit of rain. If you do get one of those, we're going to look for that in the eastern part of the state, mainly this afternoon. Highs near 80 today. And uh, of course, we've been watching a, a rollover, a semi rollover here at 35 E in the southbound lanes. You can see it off to the left there, that white mass uh, a semi rollover there, and that is causing some major delays. Looks like traffic is down to one lane there. This is at Tart Lake Road in Lionel Lake, so watch out for that. All right, Sven, thank you so much. In other news this morning, the internet going crazy this morning for these guys. Kim Jong-un's jogging bodyguards. Such a bizarre scene. They follow him around in his limousine wherever he goes. So Kim has some of the most heavy security of any leader in the world. And these men in black, they're chosen for their physical fitness, marksmanship, and for being the same height as Kim. So saying no to the job, not really an option in North Korea. Minnesotans love their lakes and they're not about to let an 8 million pound bog get in their way. So that bog lodged itself on the beach in front of Legionville safety camp. Cue the volunteers with their pontoons and their small boats. All were coming into action, crashing into it over and over again until they finally moved it away from the Legionville, Legionville Beach on North Long Lake. Talking to people up there this weekend, we heard it was quite the excitement. Well, you know that couple that always seems to be using those cutesy nicknames and baby talking to each other? Super annoying, right? But experts say it's actually the sign of a healthy relationship. And they say most adults do use baby talk behind closed doors and not to talk to their children. According to Dr. Antonia Hall, it signals closeness and a desire to nurture. Just don't do it in public. Eh, ever. That's right. Eh, that's a major fail when you're with people or if they're not even like part of a couple and they're just talking to you like a child. Yeah. Unacceptable. It's the worst. Unacceptable. Baby talk. See, I hear people say hun or baby. Yeah. Or, but baby talk. Yeah, like, that's different, like, I think, yeah. than baby talk. <laughs> I that's always right. hear yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> Stay all away right. from that. Well, those DNA ancestry tests are all the rage. Have either of you tried one? I haven't. I'd love to. Yeah. yeah. It could be fun, like results you find out. Well, we're going to tell you one woman who found out a big surprise. You didn't match anybody. You didn't match your mother? No. <laughs> yeah, Denise and Linda, both in their 70s, recently found out they were switched at birth. Boyd will have that story ahead on Sunrise. And if you're a fan of pickles, you guys, well, this one's for you. There's a slushy made from pickle juice, and it comes out today. Boat time. Mmm, and first <laughs> in our latest Sunrise Unscripted on Facebook, we're talking about our favorite summer traditions. Ooh. Here's one. Favorite summer tradition, hands down, spending time with my family, of course. We do this camping trip with my siblings every year on Madeline Island, and it's a blast. Week long, in a tent, on the beach, in the water, in the sunshine, and it's so much fun. 